Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to take a look at what we call superclusters of galaxies. Remember that we talked about our own little backyard, so to speak, in the universe, which is our own local group of galaxies. And within that group, called the Milky Way group, there's 54 galaxies, three big ones. The other ones are rather small, but again, when we say rather small, each of those small galaxies still has billions of stars in them. So here we have a, what we call a local group of galaxies with 54 galaxies in them, each containing billions of stars. And the big ones, like the Milky Way galaxy, as many as 250 billion stars. Some galaxies are so big, they have as many as over a trillion stars in them. So how big is our universe? How many galaxies are there? Well, what happens is when we look further and further out, not only do we see other galaxies, we see other groups of galaxies, just like our own local group. So when we look in some directions, we see what we call the M81 group, which is 11 million light years away. Imagine 11 million years. The light coming from that group has been traveling for 11 million years to get here. 11 million years at the speed of 186,000 miles per second. The M101 group is 24 million light years away. And the M51 group, 31 million light years. And here, looking in the other direction, the LEO group is 38 million light years, the M66 group, 35 million light years, and over here, the Draco group, that's, of course, when you look in the direction of the constellation Draco, 40 million light years. And then, when we look in this direction, we see the Virgo cluster galaxies. Here's a single cluster of galaxies that has between 1,300 and 2,000 galaxies. So many, we can't even count them all yet. Imagine a group of galaxies clustered together with that many galaxies. And it is in this cluster of galaxies where we have some super large galaxies. We have M84, and we have M86, and we have M87, which is the monster galaxy. These are what we call very large elliptical galaxies within the Virgo cluster. So these are just one or three of the more than a thousand galaxies in this cluster. And M87 is so huge, it has 40 times the number of stars in it than our own Milky Way galaxy. 40 times as big as the Milky Way galaxy. And it's just one of over a thousand galaxies here in this cluster called the Virgo cluster. It's a fairly large, far, fairly large cluster. And yet, together with all these other galaxy clusters together, in a region that's maybe, hmm, 100 million light years across, we call that a super cluster of galaxies, where we have maybe as many as a dozen or more galaxies, all, not just galaxies, but clusters of galaxies clustered together in what we call a super cluster. And when we look around in our galaxy, that's what we see. We see galaxies, then we see that there's clusters of galaxies, and then we see that there's clusters of clusters of galaxies like this, forming a super cluster. And what, guess what? There's many, many, many of those superclusters all around in our galaxy. And think about the enormous distances between the clusters that make up one of those superclusters. Imagine a distance of 100 million light years across one of those clusters. 100 million light years. Can you imagine the time duration of 100 million years? And then imagine that light is traveling across that supercluster at a speed of 186,000 miles every single second from here to the moon in just over a second. Imagine traveling like that for a hundred million years. That is just unimaginable. And then try to get all the way across like that, it would take a hundred million years at the speed of light. And that's how large these superclusters are. And our galaxy, our universe, I shouldn't say galaxy, but our universe, is filled with these superclusters all over the place. Wow, that's quite a picture for our universe. And so, in order to really figure out how big our universe is, and really figure out how many galaxies there really are, remember, each one of these galaxies, which are part of clusters, which are part of supercluster, contain billions and sometimes trillions of stars. How big is our universe? And so in order to get that answer, what we did was we put up in space the Hubble Space Telescope in the mid-1990s. The reason why we put that telescope up there, not because it's the biggest telescope, but it's above the atmosphere. And when you take pictures from a telescope with a pretty big mirror, because the mirror of the Hubble Space Telescope is eight feet across. And with that telescope, we were able to take pictures to the far reaches of the universe. Only with the Hubble Space Telescope could we take pictures to the far reaches that had the clarity to actually figure out what was there. And when we did that, we saw something remarkable. And so to figure out the answer to that one, 
Stay tuned for the next video because now we're going to take a look and see how big the universe really is based upon what we learned from the Hubble Space Telescope.